Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve word problems on geometric series, and this is the first part. Before we go over this example right here, let's have a review on the important formulas needed in order to solve problems involving geometric series and geometric sequence. We remember that the nth term of a geometric sequence is represented in an equation t of n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to the power n minus 1. Or this t of n can also be represented as a sub n. So other textbooks are using t of n. Others are using a sub n. They're pretty much the same thing. They're just variables. It can also be, again, represented as a sub 1 times r raised to the power n minus 1. One. We remember that our t of n and the a sub n represents the nth term of the sequence, while our a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, and our r is the common ratio. The second formula will be used to determine the sum of the first n terms of geometric series. This is represented as s sub n is equal to a sub 1, parenthesis 1 minus r raised to the power n over 1 minus r, where our s sub n represents the sum of the first n terms, a sub 1 represents the first term, r represents the common ratio, and n represents the number of terms. <laughs> Okay, so we go over this problem here. A job pays a salary of 50000 the first year. During the next 25 years, the salary increases by 4% each year. What is the total lifetime salary over the 25-year period? Round to the nearest dollar. In order that we can better see what's going on here, let's write this out first. So we go ahead and say that on the first year, it's 50000 So we can write this one right here as our year one, which is the first year. It's 50000 So I'm just going to write that um, down here. On year two... We are going to, um, it's going to increase by 4%. So I'm just going to label this as year two right here. So we are going to determine what will be our multiplier to this. We know that there was an increase of 4%. Now, if we um, convert percent to decimal, this 4% decimal, that would be 0 0.04. Now, if we multiply this 50,000 by 0.04 or 4%, that is actually the increase. But it has to be the increase plus the original 50,000. So in order that we can get the multiplier to this, we're going to add this 0.04 to 1, which is actually, um, again, I can rewrite that up here. So that's 1 plus 0 0.04. So this 0 0.04 is the um, the increase for each year. And then we're going to add that to 1. So that our multiplier then is actually 1.04. So multiplying that by 1.04, this would come out 52,000. So this on the second year, this job is going to pay 52,000. Now let's figure out year three. So in order that we would know what is the salary on the third year, again, we are going to um, multiply this by our common multiplier, 1.04. So if we multiply 52,000 by 1.04, the value for that would be 54,080. As you can see, the salary for this job is actually increasing by 4% each year. So in this problem right here, we're asked to determine the total lifetime salary over the 25-year period. So when we say total lifetime salary, we're actually adding them. So we're going to add this um, a salary that we have here for each year all the way up to year 25. So we can go ahead and list it down and add them all up. But there is an easy way to do this using the formula for the uh, determining the sum of geometric series. In order that we can solve this kind of problem, again, there are steps that we need to follow. The first step is to write the given. So I'm just going to go ahead and write the um, given variables right here. So the first given variable that we have is our a sub 1. a sub 1 represents the first 
term. So our A sub 1 is 50,000. So I'm just going to label that as A sub 1 is 50,000. Now we also have another given right here, which is the uh, common ratio. That's the number that we multiply each time. We represent that as letter R. Our R here is 1.04. And then our N, that means that's the total number of, of terms that we're adding. We remember that it goes all the way to 25 years. So our N here is uh, 25 because that's 25 years right there. Now we are looking for the sum. Again, the sum is represented as S sub N. So we can put that inside a... Um, we can put that as question mark for now. So we remember that the formula for the sum of geometric series is represented as. From here, we can go ahead and move on to the second step. The second step states that we're supposed to plug in these values into the formula and solve for the missing variable. So the missing variable is the S sub n or the sum so we plug it in so our a sub 1 is 50,000 so I'm just gonna go ahead and write um, 50,000 right here and then that's 1 minus our r is 1.04 and then that is raised to the power n our n again is 25 because that's 25 years so I put in 25 right there and that is 1 minus our r again is 1.04 and we are going to use calculator to determine the value for this. So what are we going to do is that we put in 50,000 parentheses 1 minus 1.04 exponent 25. And then we close the parentheses. We hit um, equals. And then we're going to, whatever the answer is, we're going to divide it by 1 minus 1.04. As you can see here, the uh, total lifetime salary over 25 year period, given this initial um, salary right here is 2 million. So that's going to be 2 million um, 82,000. 295. We're supposed to round it off to the nearest dollar. So we, we don't have to write those decimal um, values in there. So this is the uh, total lifetime salary for this job within that span of 25 years. We can actually use the TI-84 to set this up. I'm just going to show you that on the side. As you can see, the answer is still the same, 2,082,295. Or you can also use the Desmos calculator on your phone or on the, um, on the Chromebook. This is how we set it up. As you can see, the answer is still the same, 2,082,295. Again, that's rounded to the nearest dollar. Again, this value that we have here means that if we write all of them from year one, year two, year three, we keep multiplying that by 1.04 all the way to year 25 and then adding them all together, you, we will get this value right here. But we don't have to do that. That's a lot of work to do. Instead, we use the formula and we get the sum of all of these numbers from year one to year 25. That's it. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!